<laughs> hey, everybody, and um, happy Sunday. I'm here today with Deegan Cherry, and Deegan is an almost 11 year old fly tire, right, Deegan? You got a birthday coming yeah. up pretty soon. And Deegan is, Deegan is an awesome fly tire. Deegan is kind of the founder uh, of an organization called Fly Girl Global. And they have, what, around 50 tires around the world, Deegan? That tie Maybe. together? Par pardon? Maybe. Dad, how yeah. many people are in Fly Girl Global? Uh, I think 63 the last time I counted. 63. 63. And they're around the world and you tie you guys tie over video, right? You have meetups and, and you tie. Yes. So um Deegan is in the middle of a competition right now that ends in two hours from now, right? Two hours from now. And and um it's neck and neck. Deegan is uh is competing against some uh ad many adult tires and um we'll give you we'll give you a link where you can go and, and check that out um in a couple of minutes but um today we're here because tomorrow's international women's day i don't know what i'm doing here um so i should really uh, i should make deegan do all the talking and all the tying because this is in celebration of uh international women's day so deegan what are we gonna tie what are we gonna tie today um, it's a sort of a crawfish mm -hmm. and it looks like this, but I didn't put mono eyes on this one. Uh-huh. Cause okay. we were running out, but my yeah. dad made more. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And my dad made it up. Uh huh. And so now I tie it a bunch. Okay. Have you guys have you guys fished this pattern a lot? I haven't. Uh, I Your dad has them. Yeah, I've caught trout and, and bass on it. Yeah, I fished it once at least. Who's got two for your version? If you want to show on that. And then this is the articulated version. Oh, that's the one. That's the one that I want to tie. What are those lo really long things? Or is it sticking those out? Those are front? antenna. Oh, wow. Yeah, the articulated one looks cool. We're not going to tie that today because it takes too long, right? We're going to tie a non-articulated. You want something to drink? So um, you're gonna, we're gonna tie together, but you're gonna talk me through it because I've I have never tied this pattern, and I've been looking for a good crayfish imitation because um, I don't have one that I really rely on. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I hope that you can can talk me through this, and we can do one. So I should put a hook in my vise. Jig hook, right? Long shank jig hook. Um, yeah, I'm using a fire hole size six. It's stones and it's a stones and crawler hook. Uh huh. Okay. It's a five two three. It's a five two three. I think that's like. Number that they put on boxes of hooks, so you know what type of hook it is. Okay. But I don't know. I have a gamakatsu jig hook, um, and it's 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 a ninety degree jig hook. Do you think that will be okay? Probably. That's the hook I. Uh, Hey, come on, come on, camera. I don't know why that's not coming through. Let's try this again. Is 
Hmm. I'm trying to show you a close up of my hook, but it's not working here. Oh, I know why. Because my HDMI is not plugged in. It came out. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now it should come up. There we go. So, mine's a 90-degree jig hook. Do you think that'll be all right? Yeah. Okay. It'll still work on this? Probably. <laughs> we'll find out, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what size What size thread are you using? Um, I don't know. Okay. What color? Well, I'm using olive, but it's uh -huh. probably going to run out. So okay. then after that, I'm going to re-thread red. Okay. I got orange. You think that would be all right for this pattern? Yeah. Okay. So we should start our thread, right? Yeah. And where do you start it? Um, well, I just tie it in at the front because okay. that's where I'm going to put my dumbbell eyes. Okay. And you want to give it a pretty good base up there? Okay. How am I doing so far? Good. So then you tie in a pair of dumbbell eyes. Okay. Should I put them right? Should I put them really close to the eye or, or back a little ways? Um, not like too close to the eye. But uh -huh. not too far away because you're not really going to put anything in front of it. Okay. So how about where it's hanging right there? Do you think that's a good spot? Yeah. Okay. And you told me you like black or gold for this, right? Yeah. Okay. My thread's going to run out pretty soon. So... When you put eyes on, you go across like this one way, nice and tight, and then you turn, give the eye a little tweak. Yeah. Oops. Give the eye a little tweak, and then you go the other way. And you do that a few times. I do, anyways. Do that a few times crossing in the middle. Now I'm going to go the other way. Oh, and then, whoops. And then to prevent that thing that just happened from happening, you go around the base of the eyes. Right, little D? Yeah. You go around that thread base with really tight turns. I hope I don't run out of this thread. Oh, if you do, I got some you can borrow. How am I supposed to borrow it? I don't know. Overnight mail. That's going to And I usually and I usually I usually go around a few times like that. I don't know about you. Until when I go like this, those eyes don't wiggle. They stay put. So if you press on them, Little D, are you using, is your dad got a speaker on somewhere? I turned it on, sorry. Okay. Uh, and if it wiggles a little bit, I'll go some more just to make sure. So there we go. What color do you want to use? I'll load another bobbin for you. Or are you starting a new one? I'm starting, I'm putting this one on here. But if I run out of this. You want another red one or do you want olive or do you want brown? Um. 
I don't care, but I have some olive heads in here and white, so. Okay. You sure you don't want to borrow mine? How do I borrow it? Well, I don't know. It, you could use virtual thread. That isn't going to tie in any of my materials. <laughs> well, you could pretend. <laughs> it's going to be hard to show you, though. Yeah. If I'm okay. pretending. Okay. Now, do do I do I put any uh, do you put any super glue on your eyes at this point, or do you, do you just leave it? You can. We don't. You don't. Okay. Well, if it's if it if you don't, then I'm not gonna. All right. So now, what are you doing? You're just you're just covering the shank with thread. I'm just going to the back. Okay. So hat. I'll go to the back. Maybe I'll go to the big. Maybe I'll go to the other camera here. A little wider. So we're going to the back, right? Yeah. All right. And you're gonna put flash in as the tail. Okay. Oh, you didn't tell me I needed flash. Oh. That's okay. I got some here. What kind of flash? What color? We're using crystal flash and sort of like a whitish. Oh, color. okay. The pearl color. It's like this. It's our flash. Oh yeah. Okay. Angles. I got. I got some here. I got some here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Congratulations, Mike. You killed another spool of thread. How's that, Deegan? Is that what I need? Yeah. How much? Um, well, mine looks like this. It's going to look like that after you. Okay. Play. Okay. Sort of. All right. So that much, sort of, like okay. a little less than that. And you just wrap it around one finger and cut it. Wrap it around one finger and cut it? Why do you do that? Because um, I don't have one of those wooden things that you wrap it around and cut it with me right now or right oh, here okay what is the, what does the wooden thing do to, does it um taper it no so like the wooden thing is just like it's sort of like a cylinder with little like slot things in it so your scissors uh -huh. go through it and uh -huh. it just makes it so you can cut your flash um and it'll be even. Oh, okay. But we don't have, like, we have them. I'm just not sure where they are. All right. And you tie that out the back. So this is, is this about the right amount of flash? Are you teaching them how to not waste flash? By wrapping one piece around your finger? Yeah. That's, that looks good. Okay. And then you cut it fairly short, okay. And then I just tie it in. Uh huh. And it'll look like that. Okay. Oh. It looks.
looks like this. I didn't know we had that in my toolbox in the toolbox. Oh, okay. It's like that. Okay. It's got little slots so you can cut oh, okay. your um flash. All right. Is that too long? Um. Here, I'll show it to you in the other camera. Is that too? Is that too long? Do you think? Uh, maybe cut it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it look, it looked a little longer than yours. So, all right. There. How's that? Better? Yeah. Oh, you can't you can't see the whole thing there. Yeah. That okay. Okay. All right. So now you want to tie in your antenna things. Antenna things? Yeah. It's like these long things. Right. Here, oh, yeah, sib out. Yeah, that's good. So you, you use the turkey, turkey, uh, model turkey for that, huh? Yeah. And how many fibers? Well, you just take two um, feather hurls and you take them apart and you're going to tie one on each side. And they have to be pretty long because crawfish and tennis here or and whatever antenna is plural. Uh -huh. So how many fibers? Just one? Just two. Two. Because you have okay. to have one on each side. Yeah, yeah, okay. One on each side, okay. Huh. That's cool. I never I never made antennae out of turkey fibers, but that that's gonna look good. And just right on either side of the tail? Yeah. So how long in relation to the hook shank? Like twice as long? Um, they can't be too long, so. Uh-huh. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, I want to get it right. I'm going to make them... About as long as the hook shank. You tie right. them in sep. Do you tie them in separately, or both yeah, together? Yeah, I tie them in separately. Okay. Fine. Oh, I lost one. I'm not sure, but I think these are some like two and a half times the hook shank. Okay. All right. That looks cool for Aunt Teddy. I like I like the looks of those. Good idea. A lot of people use rubber legs, but these look more natural. Tom, do you want to zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole fly? Well, I can't because it's too big. But I can do it with uh, 
the other camera. Oh, that's okay. I just wasn't How's sure that? if you, it was what you wanted. Yeah, I mean, if we if you take it a little to the left, there you go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. Make sure they're sticking out to the sides. They stuck together, as feathers tend to do. There. There. Okay. Now it looks good. All right. Tie them in separate because if you tie them in separate, then they can't stick together because, like, they're already taken apart. Uh huh. That's why I like to t tie them in separate. I'm going to move. Maybe if I move my. Ah, that's better. Yeah, it's still. Still can't see the whole fly, but that's a little bit better, anyways. Okay, what's next? You tie in your shell. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's just your, that's just more turkey feather hurls. Yeah. Using. About a dozen to 15. Like about a dozen to 15. Uh, can I use 16? Uh, probably. Can I use 11? Probably. Can I use 13 and a half? 13 and a half. <laughs> Why would you use 13 and a half? <laughs> I'm, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I have a weird sense of humor, Deegan. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I have... Ah, uh, there's... I got 13. I'm going to use 13. Oh, and you do you tie it in uh, at the, the tip end or the butt end when you tie this in? Um, I've tied them in both ways, so it doesn't okay. really matter, but I think it's okay. easier to tie it in where you cut it because all those ends are kind of even. Okay. But some all right. of like the tip ends on mine. Uh-huh. That, so they go up. This is where okay. one starts, and then this is where another one starts. Er, all right. Is ends so it's easier to tie them in where you cut them off okay but you can do it either way it doesn't really matter how am I doing so far good you see it okay yeah okay I'm gonna cut them off here and we gotta go to the other camera. Oops, I moved the vice, so I gotta move the camera. There we go. Okay, now what? Okay. Ball. Yeah. So now you do a dubbing ball. Uh huh. Which is just a bunch of dubbing from a dubbing loop. Where is the dubbing? Or yeah, a noodle. Sorry. A noodle. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't want to make a dubbing loop just for that little bit. Yeah. A Too much work. We use the same dubbing that we're going to use for the body. Uh huh. Which is? Um, 
crusty nail. Crusty nail. Senyo crusty nail, right? Yeah, it's Senyo's fusion dub crusty nail. Yeah. And I didn't have any Senyo's fusion dub crusty nail, so I made my own. <laughs> And so, what do you think? Is that close? Yeah. So what I did was I mixed up uh, some flashy dubbing with some non-flashy. I put it in a coffee grinder and spun it around. Okay, so dubbing ball. Go back okay. to the close-up camera. Oh, how big was your dubbing ball? I didn't see oh, pretty good size, okay. All right. And you said that your dad makes your mono eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, do you burn them and then dip them in epoxy? Oh. Well, my dad just burned them this time. Uh-huh. But we um, burned the ends of the mono, then we cut it off. Yeah. And we dip it in black nail polish, but it, yeah. my dad didn't have enough time to dip it in black nail polish. Yeah. So some of them are black-ish, and some of them are not. Okay. But it looks like. Oh yeah. That. What? Like crab eyes? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna tie these in now. And what? What I have, Deegan, is um. I don't. I haven't. I didn't make any eyes, but um, I have some of these. Oh, wrong camera. I have some of these. You think they'll work? I can't tell. I can't have. tell how long the shaft is. Here, I'll take them out of the package. Take one out. They're just little. They're like little dumbbell eyes, but they're plastic. Can you see that? Kind of out of focus here, isn't it? There. They're kind of like little dumbbell eyes. Can you see them? Do you think it'll work? Um, if they're dumbbell eyes, you probably want to tie them in front of the dubbing ball. Okay. Yep. But the mono eyes that we make are usually about an inch long, so we can tie them behind the ball. Okay. And then the ball spreads them out. Splits them. Okay. All right. Let's see. See if I can make it work. Here. So, like, just there, right? Just like that. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, there. I think those will work. What do you think? Split it up around the side of the hook point. Yeah. Just remember to do it when you get there. What yeah. do you think, Deegan? Do those look okay? Yeah. Okay. You don't sound convinced. Huh. That, was, that was a rather unenthusiastic yeah. <laughs> That'll work, sweetie. It's like, that was like... Yeah, they'll work, Tom, but they're not really that great. <laughs> I'm going with them. You can I'm substitute peccary for deer hair if you want to. Deer hair? I have deer weird hair. also. Oh, oh, gotcha, yeah. Or you can substitute antelope if you want it all to break. True story. Right 
You want it to be even. If you're using mono eyes that you made. Okay. What happens if they're not even? The, the fish it won't bite weird. it? It just looks <laughs> weird. Okay. <laughs> this looks really good. You did a great job on that one. All right, so. Wait, this one? Yeah, that's the one you did. Oh. Did you already dub your body? No. Oh, okay. My thread's red, though. So it might oh, look gotcha. dubbed it on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what? What's next? The claws. The oh, the claws. I need this. So, you take your zonker stuff, uh -huh. yeah. and we're using. Um, micro pine squirrel zonkers and crawdad orange. I got it. Well, I got brown. Um, they look pretty orange. Settings available. Would you like to update them? No. <laughs> 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 we have it, and it looks like that. Okay. Yeah, mine are close enough. And we got them from our fly shop here, so they uh -huh. say Living Waters on it. Okay. Because we got them from Living Waters. Okay. And they're nice and skinny. And you just take it and you'll... It'll be like that. Yeah. And you cut that. And your claw will look just like that. Okay. And how long should the claws be, Deegan? Um, about a hook shank. About a hook shank. Okay. Okay. So you got to cut two of them, right? You need two claws. Now, what happens if you want to imitate a crayfish that only has one claw? Then you'd only put one claw. <laughs> okay. All right. So a hook shank. Now, does that hook shank include the, the total length of the fur that extends be, beyond the hide? Hold your, hold your claw up to the hook shank, to the mm -hmm. hook shank so that they can see the two together. It'll be... Like that. Okay. I don't know. Got it. I can see, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. And don't forget your wire after this before you're dubbing them. Okay. But if you do forget it, just remember the trick I showed you on how to get it back up there. Okay. Okay. And. I'm going to strip the fur off the base of my claws. Is that okay? We do it um, differently. Uh huh. But so, how we do it is we take it and we separate two. We separate it so part of the fur goes back, but not very much. Yeah. And we tie it in on one side right where we split that. And then yeah. we just tie the part that we separated forward but that's how we do it oh okay so you don't tie in two different two separate pieces you just use you just you, you use one and then we tie in our other claw okay and do they go like right up against the eyes what oh, eyes looks like the Which mono one? eyes that you, the mono eyes that you just put in yeah Okay. Just 
do that. That's all you need for the claws. Okay. It. Here it is. Uh, you wind the leather all the way up, bind it under all the way up. Okay. Do you tie in your wire next? Wire? Yeah. Wire? Yeah, you what tie wire? in wire. What wire? You didn't tell me to, you didn't tell me I needed any wire. <laughs> I need wire. Uh, okay. What color? Um, we're using copper. Copper. Okay. Thin, thick, medium. Ours is like brassy, brassy size. Did I leave that off of the material? Oh, that's okay. I got wire right here. It's not a problem. You probably sent it to him before you decided that we need that you wanted us to put the shell and wire and stuff in there. That's okay. Luckily, luckily I'm in my fly tying area, so I have wire. Okay, copper wire. Yeah. So you just tie that in. Okay. Because this is going to be our shell. Uh huh. And we used that for the antenna things already. So you already had that. Yeah. But you just, we're going to fold this over later and wrap the wire around that. Okay. Okay. So now you do. Your body, mm -hmm. which is going to be a dubbing loop. Oh, dubbing loop. Dubbing loops are hard. Dubbing loops are hard, Deegan. Do I have to do a dubbing loop? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Can I just can I just dub it on there? Do I have to use a loop? Yeah, you have to use a loop. Oh, God. All right. Okay. I'll use a dubbing loop. So you, make a, so you make a loop, right? And you tie it under, right? Tie it. Oh, yeah. and you make a loop and then you put your dubbing into it and then you spin it. Yeah, I know. It's hard though. It isn't. It is. It's hard. <laughs> it isn't all that hard. Okay. It's easier with a whip finish tool. With a whip finish tool? Oh, it's yeah. easier than than a whip finish tool? No, it's easier with a whip finish tool. I don't know where, I'm not sure where our whip finish tool is. Uh -huh. Because I had it and then I put it somewhere and I don't remember where that is. And oh. I was going to find it after I tied with my friend. But yeah. then Am I putting I put the Zoom call. So. Am I putting this in right? Like yeah. this? And you want so, this pretty heavy. You want this pretty heavy, right? What? You want quite a bit of dubbing in here, right? You want I enough to dub your whole body. All the way up to the eye? 
Yeah. Okay. Wonder if All I'm right. gonna run out of this thread. I'm using a bodkin to twist this. Okay, I've got a spinner. Yeah, that's why I said it would be easier with a whip finish tool. With a you you spin it with a whip finish tool, huh? Yes. I've never seen that technique. We don't have one of those spinning things, but we use yeah. a whip finish tool because it's ah, spin. cool. And then I couldn't find our whip finish tool one time, so I'm using um, a bodkin. Huh. Yeah, I guess you could you can use a paper clip or something too, right? Yes. All right. I'm gonna wind my body because if I don't wind it right now, it's gonna it's gonna untwist on me. So I may get a little bit ahead of you. How's that body? Does that look uh, heavy enough? I can't see your fly. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 It looks does good. Does that look heavy enough? Yeah. Okay. And then do you do you crisscross through the eyes a little bit to cover those? No. No? Okay. And then you go all the way up to the front, right? Just behind the eye? Yep. Okay. All the way. All right. Yep. Okay. Do you have like a like a brush or like a bodkin or something? Because you need a brush. Oh, yeah. After okay. You put the wire. I got lots of brushy things. I got dog combs and brushes and Velcro sticks and. Do you ever, um, have you ever glued some Velcro to a popsicle stick? No. <laughs> oh, it makes a great dubbing. Here, I'll show you. It, it makes a really great, uh, I can find, yeah, here it is. So you just take a popsicle stick and you, and you glue some of the, uh, the hook part of the Velcro to it, and it makes a it makes a really good dubbing brush. Watch, see that? We use a welding brush. Oh, that would work too. And how much thing that how I much think is a straw cleaner? Uh huh. Or something to clean straws. Uh huh. That's what we have. And you want to brush it on all sides? Well, we're going to put this wire on it. Yeah. So that's why you need a brush. But okay. I didn't know if you had it because, or had it out because we didn't tell you you needed wire. Oh, was I not supposed to brush it yet? Oh, you could have. Oh, okay. But you didn't have to. Oh. All right, how does that how does that look? Is that brushed enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then so we split our like turkey in half. Yeah. You just made, and you want to make sure that it's on this. So you want to make sure that you twist it so it's upside down, because it's gonna right hook point up. Okay. Oh right. Because of the dumbbell eyes. Oh right. So you put your uh. So you split your little your modeled um turkey feather. Yeah. And you're going to split that in 
half and then put them uh, oh. together. Oh, okay. And fold it forward and tie it in front. All right. So you split them and you come th through the, you, you come be kind of behind the antennae and the. Uh, Wait, let me, I think I accidentally folded my antennae things. Yeah, I almost got mine too. That's the hard part, not folding yeah. forward. I see that. And trying to get them to come back together too, right? Mine are kind of crossing. I forgot it was supposed to ride hook point up. So if you could remember that um, it's supposed to ride hook point up. Yeah. Then you would want to like... put it on the bottom, but. Right. And I, and I like, wish I had, I wish I had made a, gotten a wider piece of turkey too. But you're just going to tie your turkey stuff off and cut it. Do you want to cut your turkey off? Don't you um, don't you have a a piece sticking out front like the the flipper? I mean, if you want to, we don't really do that. You don't, okay. But you could. So you just cut it. You just cut it flush. Yeah. Okay. Well. I'm going to do it the way you do it. You're the teacher here. And then if you want, so you wrap your wire around uh-huh and that's and you just wrap it around your dubbing so that's uh -huh. why you need your dubbing brush so you can uh -huh. like make it come out of there okay like because your after fibers, you after after you wind the wire yeah because your fibers get trapped in the wire yeah. uh-huh so you want to tie your wire off to just like okay. that. And you got to make sure that you don't cut that with scissors. Yeah. Do you helicopter it? Well, this wire is really, really thick. Oh, so okay. So we have um, a pair of wire cutters. Yeah. For it. Uh huh. Yeah. And now we brush it, right? Yeah. Okay. And then some of it doesn't come out when I brush it, so I use a bodkin to kind of pick it out. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Can I whip finish it? Yeah. I think it's, it might be easier to brush it after I whip finish it, because we're done, right? Yeah. E except for the brushing. Yeah. As long as I didn't forget anything. <laughs> well... I often forget parts of a fly. 
So let me just see. I think I'll pick it out a little bit first and then I'll brush it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything. But if you wanted to tie the articulated one, we don't have enough. You just yeah. add a shank. We put. So you just add a shank and you pretty much do the same thing without the dubbing ball eyes. So you want to take the dumbbell eyes off if you're going to do the um, articulated one. Yeah. And you put, um, you're going to wrap like wet lead wire on the shank. Uh-huh. But. So you just, so like, you'll do your hook part of it. You'll do this without the dumbbell eyes. And then you pretty much do the same thing, except you skip like the dubbing ball and like the claws and stuff because and then you add like where's the present help oh did you leave it out for ranger to eat oh it's right here then you'll add like show them where it is on the on the present like right here right so here? then i know where it is i pulled it out a little time so then, like, you take a feather from, like, right here. Right. And you add that as the tail. Just, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, cool. And instead of I the like that. Don't oh, mess up, because this is, this is the one for the articulated. And then we use it a hook. That's like that when we do oh. an articulated fly. And so we okay. got it with the eye just straight out. Uh -huh. My dad bent it with like a pair of pliers or something. Okay. So now it'll look like this. And that lets the tail ride on the body. When you it. Yeah. And you also put hmm. the back. That's where all the weight is. Yeah. Instead of having the, the dumbbell eyes. That's what I put, said. Oh, you did? Okay. I missed that. Yeah. Yeah, she I said it, Dad, it. already. She yeah. said it. Yeah. I like it. I think I have a new favorite crayfish fly. Looks nice and wiggly. I like those claws. What do you think? I like it. I wish I wish I had uh, put more turkey on there because if you look at it from the underside that or from the from the top side that the shell isn't very well it isn't that you know it isn't isn't that substantial. I should have used more turkey. A lot more turkey. But the next time. I don't really grab like that much. Oh, yeah. I didn't use enough. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't use nearly enough. And I bet, you know, I should have doubled it over, too, I think, when I tied it in. Do you double it over? Um, I don't know. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was fun. That was that was really really fun, and um, I urge I urge all of you to uh, 
maybe go to that fly tying contest and vote. Not that I'm going to tell you to vote for Deegan, but, um, you know, should participate in the contest and vote. So, you know. anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I entered. Oh, that is an awesome fly. That would, you know what? That looks like a baby lobster. That would work for striped bass in salt water, too, because they eat baby lobsters. That's, that's cool. That is one cool fly. And how does it swim? Um, I don't, well, I only had like an hour to tie this fly. Mm hmm Well, it, and then it took me more than an hour because I was actually at my mom's house. Mm hmm That day, but I went to um, Burger King for an hour and tied and tied this fly. You tied that fly at Burger King? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there haven't been many flies tied at Burger King. No. Do you normally tie at Burger King? No, we just, my mom lives in Austin, or uh -huh. my mom lives in Burnett, and so it takes us an hour and a half to get here, so we'd have to have, like, so if we went and came back here, it would take us three hours after. No, because three and then like four hours because we also have to tie. You'd have to tie, see. So yeah. it would take me four hours and then it was like. Yeah. Hey, Jigen, your dog looks really bored with this whole deal. <laughs> 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 Your dog says that what a what a boring hour that was. I didn't get to play at all. I didn't get a treat. I didn't get to go outside. <laughs> Did you say what's your name? dog's name again? What's your dog's name again? Ranger. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. Ranger is very handsome. Oh, there goes Ranger. He wants to go outside because he heard the word squirrel. Oh, God. Well, Deegan, I want to thank you for um, helping us uh, start off International oh. Women's Day today by showing us your fly pattern and, and teaching me how to tie it. Um, you're a great teacher and that's a great fly pattern. So, um, and as I said, I, I, sorry. Go ahead. I said, thank you. Oh, well, you're very welcome. And I think I have a new favorite crayfish pattern. As long as I put more turkey on it next time. I wonder if, if there's any questions before we let everyone go, if anyone has any questions for Diga. Talk about fly grown bogey. They 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 keep a lot of people are saying did a fantastic job, but um, I don't nobody uh, nobody seems to have any questions. Mm -hmm. The youngest is 
eight. Eight, and she's six, right? Yeah. And the oldest is Maxine, and she's fifteen. Yeah. Six oh, ages eight. six through fifteen, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Deegan, how, how old were you when you started tying? Five. Five, wow. You've been tying longer than most people who watch my videos have been tying. <laughs> uh, Hollis, if you if you look up if you look up in the um, in the chat, if you go up to the to the um, earlier part of the chat, you'll see the link for the uh, for the contest. We mentioned it earlier a couple times. It's like on the Norvice Facebook page. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's like all you have to do to vote is like that picture. Uh huh. And that's all you have to do to vote. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Gregory Berkstead said this is the best tying video he's seen in a very long time. Thank you. Gregory, Gregory is a friend of mine who, uh, who helps us with the Orvis fishing reports. So Gregory keeps the uh, fishing reports reporters on track. So thank you, Greg. And uh, a question. Do you, do you put dumbbell eyes on the articulated shank? I think you met, said you didn't, right? No. So we have our, like, articulated one, and it just looks like that. Mm -hmm. And you just tie the shank basically the same way without, like, the dubbing ball and this part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you wrap the spline with uh, what? A uh, lead wire. Lead wire. The weight for the all the and the spline. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the weight. The weight go. The weight goes on the articulated part. Yes. You just gotta ah. wrap this on that part. Okay. Yeah. That and, and that keeps the fly wire. upright when it goes through the water. Ah, cool. Very cool. William Walker says, we have not seen nor heard the last of Deegan. Yes, I can second that. <laughs> this is the second time video we did together. So we'll, uh, we'll have to plan more. What do you think? Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to show me some more patterns sometime? Yeah. Okay, good. I like, I like your pattern. So, you're giving up all our family secret patterns. <laughs> I know you guys are. You guys are sharing with the world today. Well, thank you. That's um, that's really generous of you to to share those patterns with us. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending a Sunday afternoon. Um, with us today and uh, in celebration of International Women's Day tomorrow. We started a little early, but this fit in with Deegan's schedule better than than tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to tie a very, very difficult, fancy fly. We're going to tie a, a squirmy wormy at three o'clock. So I'm going to be challenged. Uh, my fly tying abilities are going to be challenged tomorrow. Tying a squirmy with me. Why don't we? You like squirmies, Diggin? Do you tie squirmies? We don't use squirmy worms here because they melt. In the Texas heat? Yep. They do. They really, they literally melt in your fly box? Yep. Oh, God. So you use San Juan worms or something like that? Yeah, we use San Juan worms. Uh huh. I didn't realize that they would melt. Mm. Maybe that's why mine are falling apart. It was pretty hot up here last summer. We'll see why they're falling apart. 
Yeah, it was, and dry mm. too. The next time yeah. we come up there, you better have some water for us. <laughs> oh boy, I hope so. All right, well, we're get we got a lot of water right now in the on on the ground, so hopefully it'll it'll run off slowly and get into the ground where we got a lot of snow. So, did you guys get a um, a lot of snow before the ground froze? Yes, we okay. got some. Yeah, we got keep some. the frost from going too deep. Yeah, and then the, once the frost thaws, then the, instead of being runoff, it soaks in. Yeah. Well, we hope we'll hope we'll hope it soaks in. We got plenty. It <laughs> so. snowed and it was freezing in Texas. I heard about that. We had a nasty, nasty storm that last. I time. heard about that. It was really great. I got to have a snow fight because our snow wasn't very packable, so it was just me throwing snow at my cousin and my cousin throwing snow at me you don't uh, you don't get to do many snow fights in texas do you no <laughs> well i'll send you some of ours how's that big tanker truck i'll email you some snow okay just like that just like that thread i was going to send you Surprisingly, I didn't run out of red thread. Oh, I good. Don't have that much left. Oh, you're right down to the, you're right into your backing there. What do you think about the auto bobbing? I like it. You like auto bobbing? All right, everyone. Well, Deegan, thank you so much for teaching me today and teaching lots of other people your pattern. No, we really appreciate that. Judd, thank you for your support in the background. And um, happy International Women's Day. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank Bye, you. everybody.